I'm just here breaking my peanut butter and jelly. Had my turn to help her. And I am watching a YouTube video on, um, it's the concept of this video is, um, people in urban areas on the West Coast in New England have moved away. That's basically what the video is about. And I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking about, like, the longevity of life, whether I die 40 or 85 or whatever. You know, it's like, um, here's, here's the deal. It's like, do I want to move? No, right now I don't. Like, I don't have any plans to move. And it's like, here's why. It's kind of like, there's been enough moving around in my life. <laughs> it's kind of a time for permanence. This is America's first saw America city and America's tech capital where we can't keep the internet on. <laughs> And it's just like, it's the lasting legacy of Devin, the love of my life, live right there. And it's like, even if he's not a part of my life, it's just like, this was the very best place and he went to Afghanistan. And, um, so for those reasons, and it's just like, you know, the Vietnam vet, the buck thing, he ain't gonna live forever. Lou, see him about every day. And it's just like, it's Denver. It's supposed to be number one. They rebuild it all the time. It seems like a good enough place to me than any. Now I do like California. I do, I liked it separate and before I met Devin. And I liked it, like he's only driven, I still like, and he likes, seems like he likes Northern California. He also likes San Diego. But everybody likes San Diego. I've never been to San Diego and I wanted to get there. Back when I was dating Jeremy, we were wanting to go to San Diego. But, like, for, for right now and everything, it's like, I ain't leaving this home. And for, a, it's got to be a better home. <laughs> and I ain't leaving this one. I'm like, I'm unhappy. Yeah, but like, as far as where I ended up. Versus like San Francisco. Let me tell you like the places I was going to get if I was going to live in San Francisco were not at all this nice. So I'm happy with this housing here and stuff. But it's just like. And I also was thinking to want to tell you this about like my career. <laughs> so my career, I really see it as being like. Doing a little job like 7-Eleven, but basically writing a book and being some sort of change maker. And like, you know, Stephen Smith, the West Virginia can't wait guy, the guy who hired my brother in abject poverty, $9,000 a year for Try This, for Healthy Solutions. He has significantly failed like so many different times and ways with just like caring about getting his phone fixed and not caring about that little boy. But also, he also felt in not caring about, like, now was the time. And he didn't, with me, just swoop me in and, like, help me with this change maker kind of stuff. He just, he's so, he's super, I'm worried about him. Um, but, like, my career, like, working somewhere like Dish again. No. <laughs> Never. Like, I don't ever consider, because... The housing voucher also kind of eliminated the want and all that. I am on a very, very different life track now. You know what I mean? Like, like it's more important to me to keep Brian and the drugs and the bullshit out. So I keep the voucher and keep this housing. And what I understand from what I know is if I wanted to move to Arizona, I can. I have got a complete six months. This is a year lease. And I got a complete six months um, before anything. And I will. But I'm right now, it's still like I'm not going to leave. My lease is up September 1st. So it's always going to be a good time to move again if I got to move to Florida. Like moving to Washington D.C., be around Stevie was a thing. It could end up 
move into Florida, take care of that bunch, and lead the family. I don't know, probably not. But um, it's like I'm never gonna let Drew into my apartment ever. Drew is never allowed in my home for as long as he lives. But like you know, thinking about things, it's just like I like the idea of being here for five, ten, twenty. 30 or 40 years. I do. And there's also to me, like, you know, if I die on a scooter, dab tomorrow, um, if my mother ever comes up here, and so she can see where I live, and I can, she can be like, you old trashy bitch. <laughs> you know, you never believed in me. Screw you. And there's a lot of anger there. <laughs> there always will be. Except for Tom Acosta. We have to remember I have to live on Mars and Venus. Do their stupid divorce. But, you know, she'd come up here and she'd be like, my baby was the best. And then she'd die and go to hell with that. 